So, over the years, LEGO has made a wide range of video games. From LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga to their latest instalment into the video game world, LEGO Fortnite. A pretty experience in the gaming world if you ask me, but one LEGO theme that stood out to me was LEGO Ninjago of course. Now this is really confusing to me since first of all, Ninjago is an original LEGO theme, while Star Wars, which LEGO doesn't even own, gets to have 6 full fledged games to play and enjoy. Now I know Star Wars has been with LEGO for a long time I reckon, but we've got to give Ninjago some sympathy. After all, it's generated some revenue for LEGO to keep it going after 12 years. And that's where my idea comes into play. Lego Ninjago has been starved of video games ever since it came out. Like the most we've been given are these two installments here, Shadow of Ronin and the Lego Ninjago movie video game. Which honestly, who wants to play those after how many years they've been out for? Now think about it, the original Ninjago series ended last year, so it only makes sense to start planning into making a video game for their most prolific original series after all. And if they haven't already started planning, then let me show you what the community thinks of a supposed Ninjago video game. Now recently, I conducted a on my channel where I asked my audience whether they would buy the supposed Ninjago video game if it were ever to be produced and released and surprisingly 809 people voted with a 95% choice of yes so that's about 769 people who in this sample would buy an actual Lego Ninjago game if Lego were to release and make one and so if that doesn't make the shareholders at Lego jumping up and down on their chairs then I don't know what will. I'm sure this would probably be Lego's best selling game of all time probably better than all the other games combined. I would say if Lego played their cards right and didn't manage to mess this whole thing up then they could probably land themselves on some pretty hefty returns not gonna lie i'm no business analyst but i'd estimate this would generate lego millions and millions of dollars in revenue for their company and shareholders so essentially it's a win-win for lego now moving on i was thinking a bit on some ideas they could add to the game until one commenter by the name hckr bro shout out to him commented a list of ideas lego could add to this ninjago game to make it worth its price now i'm not going to read everything but i'm going to point out some points i found really interesting starting with their first idea of for example, if you collect 50 gold bricks in game, you could theoretically get a Digi Zane character or something along those lines. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think LEGO already has done this in past games, but the reason this would be so influential for Ninjago is that people would yearn and strive to unlock past characters, for example, Skylar or even Darif. And now that I think about it, this would actually work for a Ninjago game this size. Now on that thought, there were some other ideas that came to me for this theoretical Ninjago game, and that is, if you've ever played Fortnite Save the World, you'd know that the weapons in that game are ranked by their rarity, so for example from common to legendary, as well as their power level as well, from 1 to 130. Now if LEGO were to implement a system similar to this, this would probably make the game 10 times more fun, since for example in Fortnite Save the World back in the day, if you were to find a legendary weapon that was a 130 power level, so the highest it could be, you'd be over the moon and buzzing with joy, or at least I was. But regardless, this obviously has its pros and cons, I won't get too deep into this, but I'm sure guys you understand what I mean. LEGO seriously needs to consider making a full-fledged Ninjago game since this would really bring a lifeline to their fans and since I'm not gonna lie, at the moment the Ninjago franchise is slightly stale and not what it once was and so if LEGO can do this then they can make a serious buck. Now that's all I have for you guys today, if you've enjoyed today's video do make sure to comment down below your thoughts and also please do comment some ideas that LEGO could add to this Ninjago game in the future. That being said guys, see you lot next time.